What's up guys, TK here, gonna run through all the painted banners tonight. I should be in bed right now, but I um, don't really care. I'm an adult, I can do whatever I want. Um, real quick, because I forgot to do this last video, two videos back, I think it was on the Clockworks, someone in the comments named Bobcat Focus, as you can see on the right here, asked me to build this car for him. So I went ahead and set the UI really low. He wanted this boost. Uh, I do like it. I actually played with it tonight. Uh, played with somebody that I met on uh, Steam here a while back. And, I don't know, we played like five or six games. I uh, kept doing rematches over and over against some other people. I think we won three games out of six, maybe? Four games out of six? I don't know. Um, I thought we did all right. We were both really tired, though. Uh, you didn't really specify on the colors. You were just kind of like something that looks good. I think it looks good, period. So, uh, there you go, Bobcat. All right, let's get on to... I'm going to up this all the way because the banners are tied to the UI. Garage. It would help if I could see, spell, whatever. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Uh, one more thing. Let me make sure my colors are on default. Yes, it is. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Um, obviously all the plain ones, y'all seen those. So, call sign RL. Uh, the only thing that changes is that helmet color for this little penguin guy. Little adorable penguin. Uh, to my knowledge, all right, I mean, I'm calling it. We're, what, two weeks after the update now for Autumn? Uh, I'm calling it the colors that I say don't exist. I don't believe they exist. I could be wrong, but for me at this point, I'm calling it until somebody comes forward and says otherwise. Uh, so for example, on the call sign RL, there is no cobalt. Makes sense. There, I mean, the helmet is cobalt and there's no titanium white. So again, I could be wrong, but I can tell you that all of these colors are easily found Never seen a titanium white, and the two or three times that I did see it posted when I contacted the person who was selling it, saying, hey, you know, I'll buy it, uh, they were like, whoops, sorry, wrong color, or one of the guys was like, oh, you can paint it whatever color you want. And I was like, dude, that's not painted. <laughs> um, same thing on Dead Serious. There's no titanium white. There's no black. There's no burnt sienna. There's no, I think, gray, and I think purple might be the other one. But it's the skull that changes colors. I really wish we would have gotten a black one. I thought that would be epic. Um, I had no intention of running through the actual colors on these, just because I figured if you even get the plain one, you can do that. Uh, if y'all want me to, maybe in a future video, or maybe I've thought about it maybe on like a live stream on Twitch where I just let it run for an hour or something. And I could do all these crazy things, like run through all the colors on each of the painted ones. Um, you know, I, I don't think anybody wants that, but if y'all do, let me know, and I'll see what I can do about it. Uh, but yeah, that one, there's no black, burnt, gray, purple, or titanium white. It's missing five, whereas the others are missing three or four. Um, let's keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, the whale changes color here. There's no black or burnt sienna, uh, and also no purple, I think. We'll find out here in a second. I don't have my list in front of me, sorry. So I'm going off of just me doing a visual. Yeah, there's no purple. I was a little disappointed. We'll see it here in a second. The white isn't really white enough, um, but at least it's not at all comparable to gray like there's the white one there's the gray one they did a good job of all of these and I'm, I'm almost wondering if that's why they didn't do a burnt sienna is it would be too close to orange but I mean they did lime and saffron but they did a pretty good job where they don't really look the same at all so and I mean obviously that one almost looks white uh, so maybe that's why they didn't do it it is a lighter color let's keep on going I like the salt. That's that was pretty awesome. 
I like this one quite a bit too, especially if you change the colors on it. Um, it would help if I would have actually selected it, perhaps. I, I like this one quite a bit. I think most of the colors look really good. Let's keep going. Oh, goodness gracious. I like this one too, Starbase Arc. You cannot, uh, you'll notice that some of them you don't get an option to paint. There is no paint option on some of these. Uh, like all of these can't be painted. Uh, seasonal, Starbase. Uh, there's another one somewhere up here that cannot be painted. Which one is it? Maybe it's down here. I thought there was at least one more that could not be painted, and I'm probably going to be calling myself a liar here in a second. Maybe I was thinking about the uh, seasonal rewards. Yep, I was lying. Okay, doesn't matter. Uh, tagged might be my favorite of the bunch uh, out of, you know, call sign, dead serious. Not dead, I do like dead serious quite a bit, though. Um, like I said, I do kind of wish we would have gotten... I mean, for it to be missing five colors really does kind of disappoint me. But uh, I love the black tagged. Uh, I really like that one quite a bit. Uh, there is no burnt sienna, no gray, no saffron, and no purple on this one. Uh, it kind of makes sense because the default one is your saffron. The background default color is purple. Uh, the gray, maybe they didn't, I mean, the titanium white is grayish, and then, what's the other one? Burnt Sienna, again, maybe it's too close to orange, I, I don't know. Um, I, I really wish either they would start releasing, oh, I like the lime quite a bit, uh, what items there are, like in terms of just tell us which colors are missing right off the bat. Like with the patch note, say, hey, there's no this color, this color, this color. Or just for the sake of consistency, <laughs> consistency, just do all 13 colors. Who cares? I mean, they've already done it multiple times where we get two colors that look so similar anyway. Just do it every time. Like, there's really no point. I kind of wouldn't have mind minded had this been another painted one. I thought this would be kind of cool. Uh, but maybe because we already got the narwhal, they were like, eh. But the fact that it's animated and moves and stuff, I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, but again, yeah, I mean, I really love this tagged. Um, I like the black one quite a bit. I was doing something like this earlier. Uh, but that's it, guys. Uh, like I said, if y'all want me to, I can run through... Uh, all of them at some point and actually like paint each and every single one of them and kind of slowly go through this I could set up that macro like I did before where it could kind of like go click 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 <laughs> through each of the colors like every second or two uh, I would not mind doing that just I don't really think most of y'all care about that just because if y'all get one of them y'all kind of get the idea uh, the one other thing I want to talk about uh, if you're you know I'm done with the banners done with Bobcat so this is just me talking the Halloween update drops tomorrow, and I am pumped. Mainly more because of how they're doing it. I have been concerned about this update uh, once I found out, oh, they're doing the decryptors, and they're doing all this. And, you know, it's great, because they're testing out the decryptors, and they're testing out the currency they're going to be doing during, ugh, during these limited events with this uh, candy corn stuff that they're going to be giving out. My concern was when they initially announced this, I was like, oh man, you know, like we've always gotten the seasonal items totally for free, just as normal drops. Well, now that I know how they're doing it, I'm like, oh, oh okay, this is all right. Because now I'm going off on a, a huge assumption here that the amount of candy corn we get will be enough that you could, you know, if you basically played as much as we did in seasons past during Halloween or Christmas, you will get enough candy corn to be able to buy all of the items. And for those who haven't read up on it, this currency that we'll be getting, it's like maybe an item might cost 100 candy corn. I don't know how much we're going to get per game. Uh, but basically, the candy corn will allow you to go buy the items outright. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be in a shop or what. Another option we're going to have is the crates. There will be Halloween crates that will drop in the game. You can use a key to open up those crates. Another option we're getting is they are now doing the decryptor. That is basically like a key that we're given for free. It comes as a drop. 
And my understanding is, yeah, you can open up a crate with it, but there's a big gotcha. You open up a crate with a decryptor, that item that you get out of that crate is now bound to you. If you've ever played a Blizzard game, it's bind on account. You can never trade it, can't get rid of it, can't, as far as I know, you can't trade it up. Herein lies my problem with the decryptor. And this is me going off, again, assumptions. I'm going to use the accelerator crate items as an example. So I've got Sap Tarishi on right now. Is that how you say that? I don't even know. Goodness gracious. I never even pay attention. Sap Tarishi. Sure. Sounds good enough to me. So let's say I use a decryptor and I get a white one. Great. Yay me. It's now bound to my account forever. I do it again and I get another white one. Okay, now I've got two wheels that I can do absolutely nothing with. Me, I'm OCD. Uh, I know a couple people who are much worse than me, but I only like to have one of everything on my account, exceptions being when it's certified. So if I all of a sudden had to look at two of the same color and they're identical in every way, that would drive me crazy. And I'm, I'm talking about it could be much worse. What you know, Especially with Halloween, there might not be that many items in the Halloween crate. You know, if I end up having like four or five of the same item, uh, I would almost hope or wish that either A, the items would stack on this screen, similar to the way they do on the customized screen, or that they would go ahead and maybe even offer a delete option or a hide option. Uh, for a while now, one last filter request, I actually tweeted them the other day was saying hey how about on the customized car we get a filter button because I have so many items it's hard to find stuff sometimes I would love a duplicate option up here to where you can go here and maybe select duplicate and it will show you anything where you've got two of the exact same item um, that's obviously just truly personal here it's for me to be able to get rid of dupes that's it uh, and go take it a step further during trading make sure that like maybe there's a checkbox where you can say only trade dupes so if you're trying to get rid of your extra stuff and you don't want to get rid of like an original item there's no chance of that happening like the filter would basically say only show my dupes um so that's just some stuff i would like uh the one last option so what do we got we got candy corn decryptors uh you can open up the crates obviously with a key uh and then the last option is you can actually buy the crates outright and open them up. No key required. Again, I'm assuming the crates themselves will cost a dollar. Uh, my plan at the moment is, if I'm lucky, tomorrow I'm going to post another video either tomorrow night uh, or it'll you know post maybe Tuesday afternoon. Is I'm going to open up some Halloween crates. I'm going to say the heck with it. Go ahead and buy a few. I don't know how many. If they're a dollar a piece, like the keys, I may buy ten or so. Um, just to see what it's like, because uh, I'm curious, can we trade the items up, all that good stuff. So that'll be my next video. I know you guys want to see some of the accelerator crate stuff, but I'm like, I want to see how this Halloween stuff is, and for once I'm actually going to record me opening the crates. Although I didn't open, but like a handful of the accelerator ones. So um, I need to go to bed. So I thought I was going to go to bed after I played some Rocket League earlier, and decided to make this instead. So... I hope you guys are all doing well. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope you like the painted banners. Go check out uh, truenight.com for the spreadsheet that shows all of the autumn update items and shows which colors are missing for which items. Um, that is it, guys. I will see you all on the next one, which will hopefully be like tomorrow or earlier because uh, this is going to be posted tomorrow. Uh, so that way you'll get to see the Halloween stuff. See you all later.